she's smiling or she's got a scary look on her face let's have a look oh look she, she looks fairly fairly happy and she know she knows how to walk shake it <laughs> Welcome friends, followers and transients to Foundation with me, Vapor. Yes, I've been gone for a while, but I did say in a vase view that I made a couple of months ago now, I think that I would definitely cover this game. I have played it um, on my Twitch channel, so I have streamed the game and we've had a go. Um, it was a little bit buggy to start with, but it is um, alpha and they're still doing a lot of work on it. There is supposed to be a patch this week and I was going to hold off until that patch, but I... Uh, I decided I wanted to start getting back into making Let's Plays, so we're going to jump straight in. Hopefully the patch doesn't affect what we're doing, and if it does, we'll just start over, but there's going to be some cool changes. Um, obviously, this game has been covered by a lot of people already, so I, you know, I understand that. It's, it's potentially not seen anything new here with me, but you're going to see kind of my take on it, I guess. So we'll kind of skip some of the, uh, some of the formal stuff there. I do believe some of the changes they're going to make is to do with the way we purchase land. I think the price is going to increase as you go up. Because I think they just, I think it's like 5,000 gold or something, or whatever the currency is. Um, and you can just keep buying them, like, really easily. But I think they're changing that as um, one of the things they're doing, which is really cool. I'm just looking for a decent space. I want, like, these sort of resources as close as possible. I want to try and be as, as efficient and uh, as pretty <laughs> as possible. If, if, if we can achieve that... Uh, because one of the main issues that I came across in this game is the fact that people don't work near where um, they live sort of thing. So they commute. So they they will literally commute from here to here to do their job, which in a sense is realistic, I suppose. But um, it's a little bit frustrating. And I guess it, it, it means we've got to micromanage a tiny bit. But um, so let's have a quick look around and make sure there's no other nicer squares. Kind of like flat ones, if possible. Not like completely flat, but there's a lot of trees in this one. Hmm. What else have we got around? What can we expand into? So we got a little bit of stone there. A little bit of, um, I'm going to call them mushrooms, but they're called berries, but they look like mushrooms to me. Um, maybe we'll go here. Or here. Is this originally where we were? I think it might be. Although, stone... Hmm. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go with this one because there's a lot more trees. So we'll start here. But <clears throat> this is one of the um, other frustrations for me is you can chop trees down, but you can't plant them until I'm gonna call it late game. Um, <laughs> it's not necessarily late game, but um, it, it's like one of the later things you can do, which I don't quite understand why that is the case. But um, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna buy this piece of land, which will unlock the um, build public buildings. And the only thing we can do from the start is build a village centre and a very quaint village village centre it is as well. It is just literally um, a stack of crates. So let's kind of put it over here somewhere. Because we'll, we'll kind of have... Are we still paused? No, the game... Oh, see, it was paused and the game decided to play. Um, yeah, I kind of... One of our houses and market stuffs around here, kind of between the two resources so people don't have to travel too far. This is the idea anyway, this is the premise. So we start off with some resources. We got some wood, some tools, and berries. I don't know if we can make the tools yet. I remember reading something about it. I think they possibly added it to the game. Um, I'm not sure if it's in yet or not, but we will see. Okay, so uh, we'll go with a woodcutter camp because one of the first things we're going to need is wood. Now I'm not too sure how it works with this and. Where they have to transport try to there, transport it to, that was easy for me to say. Um, and, and this is more about construction buildings, I'm thinking. So the builders will probably take longer if they've got to move kind of further to get it. I'm not too sure. I've not kind of worked that out yet. Um, we do have warehouses, which we can uh, which, which we can deal with. But they're going to need water. That's one of the first things they need. Um, so we'll, we'll whack a well in straight away. Whack a well, I like that. <laughs> Sawmill we don't need just yet. Stone cutter camp, we will, I think, I think we'll just drop the one in. I don't think we need more than one. And a gathering camp, one will probably do to start off with. So we'll do it. So we've got all the basics. Um, we do need a market as well. Um, this is the place where they can get their berries. So the closer it is to the berries, the better. So we'll kind of 
keep it here. That, that's like, it's not a million miles away. So the, the market person will go and get the berries from here and come back. Um, unless we have a warehouse. Now, again, I've, I've not played it enough to have figured out whether or not the people that work in the warehouse deliver to said places or whether they just go and collect it and bring it back to the warehouse. I've, I've not kind of uh, picked up on that. I mean, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. It's always useful. Okay, so we got that going. So let's... Um, Actually, I was just thinking, why, why is nobody doing anything? Well, it would help if I gave Sophie a job. Sophie, would you like to be a builder? Thank you. <laughs> Sig Sigismund? That's a nice name. You can be a builder as well. I, can get, I, I guess to start off with, most of them can be builders. We'll get things going. Lillian. I don't think we can rename them yet. That was one of the requests to the devs um, that I actually gave um, when I was streaming the game. Um, it, it would be to kind of name people. I mean, it's cool that it is this way, but um, kind of at the same time, it'd be cool to name it after some of you guys, which I kind of like that idea. And I don't think, when you get to like maybe 60 or so people, I don't think there's enough names in the game either. Um, so you start getting like, you know, female number 10 and, and stuff like that. It looks a bit strange. So straight away, they, they build their own little paths as they're walking. I really like that. I think that also becomes a desirable thing so if we look at residential so at the moment this is the area they would like to live and this is an area they wouldn't and because well they got amenities here so they, they've got food water or they will have and it's the town center so they'd most likely want to live here but just because they want to doesn't mean that i'm going to let them um, i'd like them to live kind of halfway between where they work and where they shop uh, just to try and keep it as efficient as possible. And we can later on make other areas a little bit more prettier with um, the trees and bushes and stuff like that. And and this is the one thing I love about this game, because you know, if you've watched me for long enough, you know I like to decorate. Well, decorating actually means something in this game, which, you know, I, I'm, I'm just loving straight away. Okay, so we need to assign a villager. So what we're going to be kind of shrewd here, we're going to say put a bit of space here and whoever lives in this house as you can see it becomes desirable when they make a road as well which I find kind of interesting but whoever lives here I'm gonna to assign to this job or this job so we could probably get another house in here there we go so one can work in the market one can work here now this can have three workers and I think it's two people per house so we will need another house along here somewhere this requires a lot of people, if I remember rightly. And the same same goes for over here. So we'll, we'll kind of do the same sort of thing. It's not a very desirable place to live, so... <laughs> we'll see what happens. Right, let's turn this off a sec, because we don't need it. Is it this one? What have I done? Oh, I've got this still open. That's what it is. Okay, so the Stonecutters camp is ready. And I believe, is everybody, I wish I should have left this open. Okay, we've got a couple of people that don't have jobs. I think that makes them unhappy, potentially. Ah, we need wood. So we're going to have to assign someone to this, so George. And Grace, there we go. In fact, have we got three people? No, we haven't. So let's take Anna as well. Let's make you a... Turn you off from that, and you can become a woodcutter. There we go. Not the greatest of starts in the world. I completely forgot we need to get some resources. So they're going to start chopping the trees down, which they need for these homes. I believe, does it tell us here? Yes, it needs 10 wood each. Now, what I will do is I will reassign the jobs of what people do based on where they live. Which is easy at this stage because there's not too much to manage, which is fantastic, of course. Um, but, you know, start as we mean to go on. Because I, I know the sort of person I am, I will be like, oh, I'll fix it later. And then it becomes such a mammoth task. Yes, it's not happening. And, and while I uh, slowly do that, I'm just going to have a quick sip of uh, water. I'm trying to be healthy. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to keep off the energy drink. So I'm going with... Uh, well, it's, it's blackcurrant, but it is, it's blackcurrant flavoured water. Although I could have had a cup of tea, I suppose. Because tea is also good for us. Um, 
So we're just going to come down here. I did touch on this in the stream as well. The fact that <laughs> these people <laughs> look absolutely psychotic. This guy looks like, I mean, he's carrying his hammer there. And he, he looks like he's ready to kill somebody. But these um, these characters are just kind of placeholders. They will be doing some more work on them. So take everything you see as a pinch of salt. Um, I think some of the buildings look more finished than others. And what I mean by that is just the way they actually look. Um, when the house is upgraded, the, the newer models look nicer. And I guess that's probably kind of how it should be. Uh, I'm busy here talking away and, and I've just realised I forgot to do something. I'm going to tell them where to work. You know, they're surrounded by trees, but they're not going to do it on their own. I can imagine you guys were screaming at the screen that entire time. So hopefully, these people... Where are you? Preparing for work. There we go. That's maybe why he was looking so angry. Oh no, he's still there looking angry. That's fine. But he's, like, <laughs> he's got no wood. Um... I've never seen anyone hiding a level 1 on this as well, so they level up on certain things. I, maybe that has been patched in since I first played it, but I, I'm guessing you want to try and keep people of a certain uh, skill level doing the same job. So th this is kind of, when I say starters, you mean to go on. Um, we definitely need to try and have the people doing their jobs they're going to continue to do. I don't believe anybody dies. I've not seen anyone die yet. There we go. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to let them uh, chop down some trees and then we'll come right back. Okay, so we've got two houses. Thankfully, nobody's left because obviously we didn't get some of these things going. <laughs> and we've also had Emma and Agnes has appeared. So who are we going to hear? We've got George and Grace. So, what we're going to say, you're currently a woodcutter, so we're going to make you a gatherer. I think I've done that right. Yep. And who was the other person? Was it Grace? Yep. We're going to also make you a gatherer. There we go. So this needs three. So somebody who's living in here, Sophie, you can also be a gatherer. And Sigismund, <laughs> you can be a market trader. I think that only has one person. Yes. So that will automatically assign. There we go. So this should work quite nicely. Does this need stone? It does. So once this house builds, uh, we'll probably have some people in here. But that needs five. Is it two people in the house? It is. Yes. So we're going to need a couple more houses here for this. So let's let's paint some more residential development zones. Hopefully, we can uh, we get another house in there again. Probably down to the desirability level a little bit. Wait along here. We might. I don't know if we'll buy that one next or this one. This is the way people are traveling into the town as well. So you can, just, you can see this kind of little line. So when you get traders as well, they'll probably follow this same route. But that's something we'll, we'll be doing a little bit later on. I don't think we need anybody else over here. I mean, that being said, we could give them a little bit of space here for our house. I don't mind. We will have other market buildings to put in later on. That is something else we've got to do. But let's, let's have a look at what they're doing. So you are... You're the market person, I'm guessing. <laughs> Look on the faces. Are you... You are a gatherer. Are you Sophie? Sophie, 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 where are you? Yes. So you must have been dropping off the berries now. That's a bit strange. Oh, you were probably getting food. I see. Let's watch what you do. So you're going to gather your mushroom berries. And then they must have come here to get food. Currently, they can't get water. So as you can see here... Uh, unfulfilled. She's not happy. Uh, she's a newcomer currently, but happiness is not great. So if we actually look at the overall happiness for the town, so there's a lack of berries recently and a lack of water, but that berries should drop. Slowly but surely, because they've got that. We can prioritise this. So at the moment we have stone, it will get taken to here. Okay, so who have we got in here? Catherine and Anna. Uh, Anna's already a woodcutter, and Catherine is a builder, so you need to become a woodcutter. Catherine, Anna, so, yep, awesome. Job done. And Emma, where are you? Are you in any of these houses? No. Just, just double checking, making sure I've not done anything wrong. Aha, we've got another house being built here, so you are waiting for wood. We can click on you. Okay, you need another two, and you'll be up and running. Which means we can probably assign some stone cutters. So, because I'm talking, obviously, um, 
I've not done this as uh, quickly as I probably would have done if I wasn't trying to explain a few things, but <laughs> it's working as it as it should do. Um, hopefully we don't have any issues. People are yeah not not the happiest as they could be. Cast running and a desirability average. Okay, we do need another wood cutter, but I think this one is going to be ready very soon. Just need a few more trees chopped out. Where are you going? You're going to take it back to here. So the builder does go and collect it. So we need to bear this in mind, maybe a little bit later again, that we probably need more than one source. And potentially later on, we might not even need one over here if we're not building anything here. So we might need to just move that around. Okay, so Edward, you're currently a builder. You're now going to become a stone cutter. And Lelaine, you're a builder too. You're going to become a stone cutter as well. Because you're so close. Perfect. So we'll just wait for you to go. So that hopefully means we have some builders. Actually, Emma, you can become a builder because you're not doing anything. And Agnes, you can be a builder. Since we didn't have anybody assigned to do that job. Hopefully. You have it. Nice thing. There we go. So you've got some of the wood. Perfect. The happiness isn't great. But I think we're going to get there. I think we are. <laughs> I'm not going to panic just yet. Let me, uh, let me wipe the speed up a little bit. So the berries... Oh, there you go. The happiness is better. Probably because they've got the berries. So we'll see them to and fro from their houses, which is uh, in their workplace and their, their shopping area. <laughs> to be honest, any game like this, even if you take uh, City Skylines, for example, you've got to kind of build um, like the work, the, the recreational... Uh, and their homes within a, a reasonable distance from each other. The only difference is with a game like City Skylines is you have ways and means of getting people there. Um, so obviously you have trains and cars and, and taxis, so they can go a little bit quicker than they would move in this. Okay, the well is up and running. Perfect. So this should mean as soon as people start getting water... Now, this they literally go and get it themselves, I think. Yes, there's no one working there. So they will go and pick it up. As soon as they start doing that, the uh, lack of water will start to drop off. Which means a little bit more happiness. Okay. Agnes and Emma, you're currently builders. Well, one of you can become a wood chopper. There you go. Close this menu again. So we've only got one spare person at the moment, which is Emma. We've got two more people coming. So we could probably do... If I've not, oh, I have painted the area. When they decide to build another home... We'll have them as woodcutters, but we'll leave one person as a builder for the moment, I think. A villager is upgrading their house. Are you that happy already? Well, you're not going to upgrade it because we don't have planks. So have fun with that. <laughs> the only problem is, is that when they upgrade, they, they become a different type of person, I believe. Um, do, 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 do. What am I looking at? It's here somewhere. Enable immigration. We need... I'm sure one of these menus here... Ah, there you go, 10 newcomers. I think they once they upgrade their house, they become something else. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Uh, but they also require more things. So they may require bread, for example. Okay, they're all upgrading. So they're all, it means they're all reasonably happy. Perfect. Do we have enough gold? We do, because I'm chatting away here. We didn't buy another piece. Uh, budget... That's not what we're doing. We don't need that one, do we? Don't need that one at all. Uh, that one. So I think I think we'll go for this. What I should have probably looked for was fertility. I don't think we can make land fertile. See, that probably would have been the better one to go for. Uh, for farm. For farmland. But, oh wow. This is very nice. But we've got another source of berries here. Some more stone. Some more trees. So we'll take it. It's not... It's not it's not all doom and gloom, is it? The residential areas. See, it is. It's getting there. The green is still pretty red up here, but I guess that's because there's nothing to make it pretty. But we now have this area too. Which I think we're okay for food at the moment, but once um, we start expanding again, we'll get some houses in here. And then some more berries can come this way. Currently, okay, there we go. We've got 42 in stock. Perfect. And this is how we're making our money. I don't think we make money from houses. No. So you've got upkeep. So here we go. The well cost two gold to keep running. I'm just looking for... I'm guessing that's a week, maybe. 
Uh, the houses don't actually give you anything. So there's no form of taxation that I can see, but most buildings do have some form of upkeep. So this is your, ma your main and probably only source of income, aside from trading, of course. Right, okay, so whoever lives here can work in these two buildings, I think. Oh, no, no, we're currently in there. We're full. This needs another few more people. Okay, so three more to go in there. So that house can deal with that for us. I think, while that's all happily going along, we've probably unlocked some more buildings, as we have. I'm just wondering if we drop a warehouse somewhere midpoint. So if you hold down the control key, you can rotate the buildings. I'm just wondering if we have, like, a warehouse somewhere here... Now this can you can choose what it what it actually stores. So the reason being is I'm going to have the, the the two people working here collect the wooden stone and hold it here. So that means that if we're building here, the builders only have to kind of go here instead of all the way across town. So it's one way of moving the resources around. I'm not sure if I had a warehouse here and a warehouse here, whether the people in this warehouse would go to this warehouse to collect resources or whether or not they would traipse all the way across here. I've, I've not figured that out yet, but we'll figure it out together if, if you guys don't know already, of course. Right, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name, but you can be a stonecutter and Julian, you can be a stonecutter too. So we should start getting a nice amount of stone coming in now. We're just short by one person in there. Which is fine. Have we got a builder? We do. That's Emma. So this is this must be Emma here. Yep. And she's happy. Still a newcomer. Got an affection resource. And all of her needs are fulfilled. She's quite happy. She's smiling. Oh, she's got a scary look on her face. Let's have a look. Oh, look. She looks fairly, fairly happy. And she, know, she knows how to walk. Shake it. <laughs> so she's gonna she's gonna grab a box of stone here. I say grab. She's not actually holding it. If you look, it's kind of um, yeah. I don't know how. I don't know. Some dark magic, I'm sure. <laughs> awesome. So she's gonna build that for us. Uh, we've got no more spare people, so I'm not in a massive rush to expand. But we've got the uh, Lord Manor. And we will unlock a church. I'm not 100% sure what the Lord Manor actually grants us. I don't know if we if it just makes the area look nice. I know people have a, a, a need for uh, faith. So that's why you need the church. So a serf must be the next level of person. But they can't do that until I create a sawmill. Because they need planks to update their house. So I'm just trying to make sure we've got most things balanced before I go down that route. I just don't think it would be a good idea. So there's, there's still quite a few of these people. Has a lack of water recently. That is going down. I wonder if I just up the speed a touch. Let's try and get people as happy as possible. A villager is upgrading his house again. No, he's not. We could put the sawmill in, I suppose. But that's going to pressure me to get these things done. I think we're probably going to produce enough berries for the moment. So we've got 51 in stock and we've sold 17 this week. So technically, as it stands, not that we have any graphs or anything available that I'm aware of, we only need 17 a week and we've got enough currently for, well, almost three weeks. So this is working quite well, which means I could probably expand. Okay, so let's, let's go for the song now. I guess it makes sense to have that somewhere near here or near here, either or. I kind of feel like somewhere over here makes sense, as long as the uh, the warehouse is bringing the wood across. This would be the quickest option, but again... Hmm. Let me think about this logically. Maybe we'll put it over here. Or here somewhere. Can we sneak? No, we'll, we'll, we'll sneak it in here for now. We can always build another one later. And we also need to dedicate a tiny bit more space because we do need another house over here. We're still short of a person from here. And if it's only one person that works in it, I can't remember. Definitely need another house for that. So let's, let's just do something like that. That should allow another house. Is this something running yet? Ah, that's waiting for planks. There you go. I am a plank for completely not looking at that and forgetting that we needed planks, which is what the sawmill is for. So, Sophie, is it? A, was it Sophie who's our builder? Let's have a look. Oh, Emma. <gasps> Get my ladies mixed up. But Emma is going to do that job for us. Now, these trees are getting chopped down pretty sharpish. 
So eventually I will probably move this because we can't because we can't plant them. They're not walking too far at the moment, but I guess it, it makes sense to, to be where the trees are. For the moment it's fine. How are we doing here? Okay, we just need some stone. Perfect. And two more villages are coming. Awesome. Which is going to help us here because we can get these buildings up and running too. It means we need another house over this side as well, of course. So maybe we should... Actually, no, we'll wait because I want them to build a house here first. So again, it's a little bit of micromanaging, but, you know, I, I, I think it's working quite well for me at the moment. And it doesn't feel overly stressful. I mean, it probably will do later on when I'm trying to manage uh, cloves and bread and religion and all these other little things and making sure everybody's got what they need. Okay, this needs... Oh, two people. So we're going to need them. You have a new request. Build a Lord Manor. Okay, so that's going to give us some money, I guess. Yeah, doesn't quite say. Okay, so, Emma, you can't currently do any building. So maybe... Where do you live, Emma? Okay, let's me follow you. So I'm guessing... Ah, you'll live in here. So, Emma, you can now become a... Carpenter. For the time being. Because you live relatively close. And when the two new people come, we'll, we'll have a, a rethink about that. Here they here they are. Okay. So the first thing they do is grab some berries, they grab some water, and they just go and stand here. Aha, uh because -huh, they're going to build a house. So I guess it makes sense that I make you a builder. I don't know if we can have two people building. We can. So we'll do that. So they're going to run off and gather their resources. So I'm assuming then, for them to have a pick a site, they must have needed these resources to, to achieve that. So if they couldn't have got food, because the first thing they did when they came in was grab food and water and then pick a site where to live. Which is fairly interesting. So what I'm probably going to do is keep one of these as a builder so we get this finished. Assign someone to this. So, maybe, probably... Martin? Martin, yes. We'll make you a... Wait, where is it? Stone cutter. There we go. So that will completely fill that. And then we'll leave you... Um, is that Alan, would you say? Alan? Or Elaine? Elaine? I don't know. It sounds like a woman's name if I say Elaine. <laughs> so, don't want to upset him. So what will happen now is these people are probably going to nick the planks first. So if we prioritise this... There we go. Martin is bringing two planks. It stops the houses getting upgraded first because they're, they're waiting. In fact, uh, this house had already pinched two planks. So we want this built first. But obviously, we've only got Emma currently working there. But hopefully, we've got happiness of 84. The uh, lack of water is slowly but surely dwindling, which probably means we will start to get more people. Let's have a quick look in here. I think once we build this, are we going to surf now? No, we can't have. I know, 40 newcomers. I think maybe once they upgrade, it will it will start unlocking these. But we definitely need a Lord Manor. Oh, we need a surf. There we go. So they'll all unlock once we get that. And if once we get to 500, I'm definitely buying this. This is some beautiful uh, farmland. At least I think it was here, wasn't it? Let me double check. Oh, definitely there. But that's, that's a nice area. And here, for that matter. And I suppose I could use this area, but I think we're going to go for this. I think that's that's definitely where we're going to go. I'm saying that now and I'll completely forget and do it over here. I, d I know what I'm like. I know. You guys might have forgotten, but <laughs> I certainly haven't. Okay, two more villages. Perfect. Did I assign enough area? Let's have a look. This one, residential. We're probably going to need another house and then again to be honest we're probably not because i'm going to move this camp soon so the people that are here will kind of naturally move into this area so we, we definitely need a house over here if, if we can squeeze one in and they can work here so the next place i'm thinking for a woodcutter would probably be here somewhere because once we buy in fact we can do that now while i'm talking away these trees here, there's tons of trees. Maybe one thing again about distance. Maybe have their house somewhere here. So let's let's 
think about this logically. So if we say, if we say build your house kind of in this sort of area, and then we can go for a woodcutter camp somewhere, somewhere there. Yeah, there we go. Someone's building a house. So it's very close to this, and that's not too far either. And that'll work perfectly. And this will probably... We don't need to move it, but like it would make sense to have one over here as well. So we'll probably need another house here. We're going to shuffle around what people are doing. Which, I guess from a production point of view, may not always be the best thing to do. Because obviously, like I say, people are, are levelling up. Has anyone actually made... Ah, there we go. Level 1. Produce one food per cy cycle. Is that an extra food? I wonder. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think that side of the game's in yet, so... Okay, so currently this is refusing everything, so we'll accept planks, wood, tools when we get to the point of trading, and stone. We need to assign some people to that, but we can't do that just yet. So Thomas, you can become a builder for the moment. Let's just see what's going on here. Extraction zone. Okay, so there's still. No, we're producing enough wood for the moment. I, I'm not. I'm not going to kind of fanny about with it too much. We definitely need somebody else in here. Are they upgrading their houses yet? Thomas is assigned to the construction. Yeah, that's happening. In fact, if we've got people that want to upgrade, let's let's assign a few more builders. Let's try and get some nice houses in. Five new buildings unlocked. You have reached a, a new status, Surf. So we've got three Surfs. So we've got bread, farm, church. So these are, these are the things that we needed for this area. So that's worked out quite nicely. And we have a new request to build a church, which now means once, once they get to a point, they're going to require bread and religion. At the moment... It's not. Who are the serfs, I wonder? It doesn't tell me. Let me just drop the speed of the game. Oops. Is anyone here requesting any of the new stuff yet? Oh, there we go. So we're getting unhappiness straight away for no religion and no bread. <laughs> so now, that's, what, that's why I kind of didn't want to start upgrading houses. Have they actually? Oh, they have. So the upgrades for these houses are pretty basic. They get like these little extensions that you can see here. The next stage of house is really, really nice. It does look really cool. So did I assign some land here? I did. There's got to be enough space there, isn't there? Surely. Surely there's got to be enough space to build a house there. Okay, you're here. So we'll put a extraction zone right on your doorstep for the moment. Who's currently living in here? Thomas, you are now a woodcutter. And Marie, you are also a woodcutter. Again, distance is all perfect. These guys are traveling a little bit further. We do have a lot of logs, but it's fine. Do we have anyone that is a builder currently? Yes, we have one person. That's, that's good. That is good, because at least when, when people move into town, there is someone that can still build. And also, um, Elaine will upgrade the houses as and when required, assuming that we have the planks. This is one of the issues right now. I'm just wondering, how many people in here? So we're short of another, we could do it in another house over here. Although, Catherine and Anna, I think, are woodcutters, right? Or are they in here? Who are my woodcutters? Catherine, it is Catherine and Anna, okay. Again, it's not, it's not a huge distance, but I'm, I'm trying to keep it as tight as possible. Just wondering, maybe. Let's... Oh, this is two more people, it is. So, we will walk in a little bit of space here for a house. We will also, I think, while we're here, let's just assign a little bit more area to extraction. I don't know if those trees are in the fertile area or not, but if, if they are, they will affect where the uh, where the crops can be grown. 
so we'll, we'll whack that in there. And even these trees here, I think we'll, we'll try and take away. Because they're, they're going to get in the way. I don't believe they remove themselves yet. I could be wrong. <laughs> we will see. Um, again, lots of patches have happened since I've last played this. I played it like in the first week it came out and I've not really touched it much since. So, who knows. Okay, so we've got a lot of, we've got a ton of wood. So I think we could probably get away with destroying this building and taking away this extraction zone. So the right click um, will remove it. And the reason I'm removing it is I don't want my woodcutters traipsing across the map, like the ones that we've currently got. So once their trees run out, they will they will naturally go to that area. And I, and I don't want that. So I think we'll take, say, Catherine, we'll make you a carpenter. There you go. So Catherine will go here, and Anna should fill the spare spot in there. Oh, no. <gasps> We're already full. So wait a minute, Anna, what are you doing? You're currently, you can be a builder for the moment, I suppose. There we go. Perfect. And we've got a few more people here. Uh, you're going to live here, I guess. So, if we make you two transporters. Yeah, there we go. And they've both gone in there. I'm assuming it's the two guys that were going to live there. So, we've got tons of food. 119 in stock and only sold 29. <laughs> it's working absolutely just the way I want it to. And we've got two people in here now. We've got plenty of... Where's my wood gone? Oh, wait a minute. Is it because I removed the building? <gasps> oh, wow. No, that's painful. If that is what happened. So as soon as I remove the building, I lose all the wood. They don't come and collect it. Ooh. Well, there's a painful lesson to be learnt for me and for you guys if you didn't know that. 102 stone. So, wow. I should probably have just switched the building off if that is at all possible. Well, I could have unassigned people and then let them come and collect it. Jeez. Wow. Wow, that, that really hurt. But I've learned something. <laughs> Definitely. It, it wouldn't it wouldn't be, a, um, you know, a believable game if I played the game perfectly. Let's be honest. I think sometimes failure is the, uh, the more important part of uh, playing games. That's how we learn, of course. Or we just watch Let's Plays and see how the other people do it. But then I could do that and I would still fail because that's just the way I am. That's the way I roll. Okay, so Richard, you two are in the perfect spot. Shame that you couldn't go and pick up all that wood for me. We I mean, just vanished into thin air. That's terrible. Absolutely shocking. The good thing is the stone and the berries don't disappear. Um, they just, they're continuously there. At least at this stage. The trees are the only thing that you have to replace. But I think on that note, I'm going to end the episode right here. Thanks very much for watching. It's definitely good to be back and hopefully I'll catch you in the next episode. So until then, take care.